Okay, this is a reading for Sagittarius. Whoever is watching Spirit, what are the messages you have for Sagittarius? What's coming towards Sagittarius Spirit? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. If you hit the subscribe, it's free, by the way. <laughs> I feel like I have to tell people that. Ever since somebody told me that people thought you have to pay for it. Because <clears throat> not, like I said, not everybody has been on YouTube for years or understands how shit works, you know? Let's see. What is coming towards it all? Well, y'all are in the Queen of Wands star energy. Ace of Wands. Boy, y'all is really getting some attention or getting a star quality. Somebody feels rejected by you. Like they feel you pulling your distance, like your energy away from them. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. There's something coming, Sag, because you're in this Knight of Pentacles, and I see I kept seeing the Four of Cups. Um, somebody feels like you're rejecting them, but we got this tower with this Knight of Pentacles, so. Five of Cups. Ooh, somebody regrets. Somebody's looking at you as the Nine of Pentacles, and I think you're pulling your energy away from them. They're looking at you like, damn, Sagittarius is doing really well. They regret breaking up with you. This is somebody who's in regret and despair for breaking up with you. Yeah, oh, this person's having an awakening and out there in love with you. So you got somebody who's in love with you? They're figuring this out. Maybe they didn't figure it out till y'all broke up. Got the Emperor Aries energy. Ooh, y'all's about to find out a secret. <laughs> or somebody's about to break their silence. Here they come, Saj. Somebody's headed your way. That Knight of Pentacles. Oh, you're not talking to him? Did you cut this person off? <laughs> you're in, like, no communication with them? So somebody wants to talk to you. Like, they want you to stop the no communication. This could be an earth sign. Pisces. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Huh. Yeah, this person's in love with you. Gemini energy. Yeah, this person's viewing you as the Nine of Cups. Pisces energy. Because they're watching you. Okay. So whoever this person is, you're in no contact with them. You're not talking to them, but they want to talk to you. Um, they feel like you're being the Queen of Swords reversed. Or they're like, oh, Sagittarius is being a bitch. <laughs> Whether you're a male or female, they think you're acting up. They're like, why do you have to act out? But they just feel like you're just being kind of smug right now. They're watching you in that Nine of Cups energy. They're slowly making their way to you, though. So. Oh, good Lord. Here we go. This person's obsessed with you or they want you tied to them. This person's. Oh. So this is somebody who might have not made a choice on you in the past, or maybe you have a choice between two lovers. You got the lover's card and the devil. They're just alike. This one's toxic, one's not. Oh, and then you got the seven of wands, Leo energy. You got somebody who you're not talking to. They're kind of just watching you, stalking you. And they're indecisive. They don't like, they could even be trying to be guarded against you, thinking that maybe you're the devil. <laughs> like, you got a choice to make. There's definitely two people in your energy here, or this person has two people in their energy. But I feel like it's you because they're they're looking at you. They're looking at Sagittarius like. Sagittarius is hiding something and they're trying to figure it out. Like they want to know if you have another option. 
Oh, it's Mr. King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So you got this earth sign watching you, trying to figure out who you are talking to. They feel like you are dealing with somebody that they view as the devil. And they think that this devil energy is keeping you from them. Something like that. Oh, they're jealous. So this King of Pentacles is jealous. Because they think you got somebody else. Oh, boy, are they jealous. <laughs> okay, so whoever this is, they are in the devil energy it's them because they're very possessive over you whoever this is and this person's like let me find out let me find out who you're dealing with Sagittarius and I'm gonna run them off so this person's already thinking of like beating out the competition with the five of swords like this is somebody who has no problem beating out the competition like if they see you with somebody they're gonna try to run them off Yeah, this is somebody who could even be like, you could have been in a connection with them, but you no longer are. And they, they're they like getting upset because they feel like you're not giving to them anymore. You're not connecting with them anymore. Yeah, and they feel like you're just off to the races here. So they're watching you somehow. They got eyes on you somehow. And they're like, you know what? Sagittarius is over here just living it up free doing whatever with whoever and I'm going to find out who they're doing it with because they're watching you at the page store so this person has eyes on you either social media friends family or your house they know what you're doing or they're trying to figure this out this is definitely somebody from your past Like you're go wanting to go back to your past but this person feels like they have unfinished business with you so this is somebody from your past who sees you're trying to take off and they're like no no not not so fast Sagittarius I'm about to come in here and throw a little monkey wrench in your plans and stop this wheel because they know if that wheel flips upright you're gone with the wind so this is somebody who doesn't want you yeah this person does not want you to leave And they feel like you're not trying to give them the Ten of Pentacles. Whoever this is, they feel like if they don't have you in their life, they'll never achieve that Ten of Pentacles. They want to stay in that Five of Swords energy. Because the Six of Swords is in reverse, which is headed back to the Five of Swords, which is competition, competition. And then we have the Six of Wands reverse. This is somebody who kind of almost could also either want to knock you off your pedestal like they feel like you get too much attention they don't like that they want to knock you down but it also is could be beating out the competition like they're not going to let you you know be out here with somebody else really weird energy yeah this person wants you stuck like this person's like where do you like where are you going like you're not fucking going anywhere Sagittarius you belong to me this is a very possessive energy, which I always pick up in y'all's reading. Y'all always attract some of the most <laughs> possessive people. <laughs> um, but this is somebody who wants to keep you stuck with the hanged man. They want to keep you tied to them. And they want, they want to keep you stuck with the four of pentacles. Like, they're very possessive of you. Oh, yeah, and, and this person's saying, Sagittarius, you're not out here. You can't be out here giving to others. No, uh-uh. Nope, not happening, Sagittarius. As soon as I figure out who this other person is, they're gone. That's what this person's saying. So whoever this King of Pentacles is, their, their thought process is they think you're up to some shit. They're trying to figure out what this is. And when they find out, the other they're gonna, they will try to intervene and run the other person off or the other people. Um, because they feel like you're no longer giving to them. You're no longer giving them attention. You're no longer um, giving to them, giving them attention. They feel like you're just over there in that hanged man position, and they feel like you're holding back. And so this person's getting jealous by the day. 
they're like, this is some bullshit. Like, Sagittarius used to always hit me up. Sagittarius used to always call me and see what I'm doing and ask if I want to hang out. Sagittarius used to always give to me, give me attention, give me their time. You're not doing that anymore. I feel like I'm d talking to a Sagittarius who has gotten enlightened on this person's energy or the people that they're around. And so now you are holding back. You're holding back from them and you're being very selfish with your time and your energy. Yeah. You're not trying to put work into this. You're, you don't want to go back to the past either with the judgment in reverse. So you don't want to go back to the past. And then you have the Herathon and the King of Cups. And I don't know if this is this person or if this is a different person. Who is this King of Cups Herathon? Oh, this is a future person? So you're fixing to have somebody else come in here? Oh, well. I don't know. It could be the same person. This damn Virgo energy. Aries, Virgo. This person's what? Oh, they're waiting on you. That's not... Yeah, this person's waiting on you. You know what I'm getting to? I feel like this person could be going through like a spiritual awakening or something. This person's waiting on you. Like they're starting to realize they have feelings for you or something. Oh, this person's rushing in. So if if you were being quiet, if, if this person gave you some quiet time and you've been holding back, they're like, okay, quiet, quiet time's over, Sagittarius. Like they're in their emotions now <laughs> with the King of Cups. They're like, uh, I gave you enough solitude time, and I've been waiting on you, and now here I come. Like, this person's coming. Oh, Lord, but what's all this shit? This person feels left out in the cold by you, so they're pissed about that. Then we have the Five of Wands. They're very jealous. This person's very jealous and possessive over you, I'm telling you. This is somebody who wants to come in and fight for you. Um, they they feel like you're sneaking around. Like, I don't know why this person feels like it's any of their business what you're doing. But they're sneaking around. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles. And then the Chariot. Oh, so this... Oh, okay, I get it. The King of Pentacles feels like they figured out who you're sneaking around with. They think you're sneaking around with this water energy and hiding it from them. Yeah. So they think you're single, you're out here dating, and they think you're dating this King of Cups. That's who they think you're investing in. Yeah, and they think you're hiding this. So this is like a crazy ex or just this crazy person. Like, they feel like they got to know like what you're doing. Like they feel like you're hiding this, but, but what's weird is you're in the nine of pentacles. You're single. You're not connected to anybody. So what business is it of this person, what you're doing? Oh, because they feel like you found a new love and you're falling, going to fall in love with somebody else and that you are going to be able to put your guard down with this new person. They feel like you're hiding this. Yeah, they feel like you're hiding this third party. <laughs> you know what? So, <laughs> it's always the same. It's like, this King of Pentacles thinks you're in love with this King of Wands. And the King of Wands and the King of Cups are like the same person. And so this King of Pentacles is trying to figure this out. If you're like talking to this King of Wands. And I feel like you are. Because you're very passionate about this King of Wands. Like, mm, like this person comes to your house and stuff. Like, I don't know if y'all are doing some stuff. But this person thinks you're in love with this King of Wands. And that you're hiding it from them. 
Yeah, they feel like you're holding back from them because you're giving to this King of Wands. Yeah, they think you're being cold and they're worried that this person's having anxiety. Yeah, and I also feel like this King of Wands, I don't know if the King of Swords is the same as the King of Wands, but there's somebody here who's like losing hope that, you know, you guys will ever be together. They, they feel like this could end. And then we have the Emperor. So somebody wants to take charge of this situation. Like somebody's about to come in here. Yeah, they're trying to manifest you. And... They want to take charge of the situation. Because they feel like you're leaving them behind. Yeah, like you you are leaving somebody behind. It's like you're leaving the past. You no longer are dealing with any third parties. You no longer want to work with people from the past. You are. You are looking at other options. So whoever this is worried about you, they should be because I see you closing out cycles with people. You have a lot of options. A lot of people are trying to be with you right now. You're getting like lots of messages from people. I don't think you really want any of these people, but you are getting them. There's somebody here who's also hoping that you go through like an ending and a tower moment with somebody. Like, that would be really good news to them. Now, there's also somebody who, um, one of these people could have picked a third party over you. They now regret that. And they may not have been honest with you about that. You may be figuring this out. And so you, my friend... Yeah, because whoever the, this person is, you're the empress, okay? This person could have chose a queen of pentacles over you, but you're the empress. So they picked wrong, and now they regret it. They were not seeing things clearly. Now they're realizing you were the empress, and they did the empress wrong, okay? So I can see that spirit is about to move into your life here. And give you karmic justice and make you very happy and things are going to move in your favor. You're stepping into a lot of fiery energy this summer. Where like you're very passionate about what you do. I don't think you really give a shit what any of these people are doing. And you're kind of in this energy of if you know you're the empress. And I feel like you just want to be happy. <laughs> and if somebody's coming and they're not trying to offer you like what you want. They're not making you happy. I feel like you'll just move on because you're happy alone. You're in the Knight of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. You don't need these people. And some of these people are really regretting the decisions they made towards you. And some of them are burdened. Like they're coming to you burdened. Like they have a lot of baggage. And they, and it's like, you're like, mm, I, don't, I just don't know. I just don't know anymore. Yeah, it's like you don't... You're not really beat to hear these people's bullshit anymore because you're the empress. Like, I feel like you were very giving to some of these individuals. So, let's see what this king of pentacles, why do they feel like they have any right to what Sagittarius is doing? What's their feelings um, and actions fixing to be towards Sagittarius? What is this King of Pentacles actions and feelings and tensions with Sagittarius? What are they about to do? Let's say the next seven days. Like what's this King of Pentacles intentions and actions towards Sag? Hmm. This person is getting spiritually enlightened. Like, they are going through a spiritual awakening, and they're about to get a tower moment. Like, this person's getting woke up. 
Like God is, is doing something in this person's life. Yeah, this person's going through a spiritual awakening. You, and you know what? You need to stay in no contact with them because you not talking to them is making them realize something about themselves. Something that God's trying to show them. There's also something about they're not happy where they are. Like they are not getting wish fulfillment where they are. But they know that you are. Yeah, this person's going through some type of a heartbreak too. Here they are. They're heartbroken. So this person's like going through some type of turmoil. And they want to talk to you. This person wants to talk to you. They're going through some type of uh, ending. They could even be trying to manifest an ending with somebody else or... I feel like this person also could could feel like... I don't know. Hold on. I want to keep seeing. Like They feel like you're guarding yourself. I feel like you're over here with this King of Cups. You're jealous. This... <laughs> This person is like jealous and feels betrayed because they feel like you're over here guarding yourself from them, protecting yourself from them, not talking to them. And they feel like you're over here in love with this King of Cups and they're jealous. They feel like they're, this is a very jealous person. They know you're the Empress. They know you have a shit ton of options. They think you have a new love. Like they're also realizing they have love for you. They view you as a star. They want to heal things with you. This person views you in a very high light. You know, they think you're very happy. They want to make you an offer. They want to knock the King of Cups, Knight of Cups out. Like they are like, okay, I've got to make an offer to Sag because Sag is going to leave me. So I have to come in and offer her something too. Yeah, and this person feels left out in the cold by you. And if they were indecisive before, they're no longer indecisive. This person's going to try to block people from you. Yeah, this person's going to get close to you. They may even try to say something like, let's be friends. Um, but they feel like they're being blocked from you. And they, oh, yeah, this person is not playing any games about you. This person's coming in to get the things turning in their favor. And they're going to try to block you from somebody. They're very protective over you. And then here they are as the Emperor, High Priestess, Six of Wands. This person wants to win you. This is a very dominant energy. The Emperor, the Devil. This is somebody who's like, bitch or guy. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing out here, but you know you're my Empress and you belong to me. This person wants you back tied to them. And this no communication, they're going to put a stop to that. They want your attention. This person's about to get your attention. They... They want to be the one who wins you. They're very jealous of this other energy that they think is around you. It could be a damn Virgo. It could be any sign, but heavy. It's definitely somebody you know from the past. They're in regret. They're in despair. person's waiting on you and telling you it's like they're waiting on you but they feel stuck or they feel like you're not coming like they've been waiting and waiting and waiting and they feel like you're holding back and so they want to come in 
I feel like you're holding back from them. Yeah, I feel like you're holding back passion, communication. They want to get those wheels turning. Yeah, they think you're hiding. This person's so suspicious of what you're doing. It's freaking hilarious. Like, yeah, they're like, they're, you're hiding messages. Like, you're hiding, uh, you know, other people. Oh, God, they're having a nightmare. They This person's in love with you, Sagittarius. This King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, it could be Aries. I mean, it could be any sign, but this person is not wanting... It. They're scared and worried that you're ending things with them because you have another lover. And so they're coming in to talk to you. Um, I feel like they're going to tell you this. This person's going to try to offer you uh, marriage, too. Like, stability. They may know that's, like, the only way that you'll settle down with them or they, they're, they're going to. This person's also trying to cut off another relationship. Like, they feel like you're in love with somebody else or happy in another connection and trying to move on. And they're going to try to put a stop to it. But, there's another, I was trying to see, what are they so worried about? This person, yeah, they want you away from this king of wands. This person doesn't want you giving to this king of wands. They want, it's like they want karma. They want something, they want to like fuck over this king of wands. So they're trying to get you away from this king of wands. This third party, this third energy. Like they don't want you working with this person. They want you to drop the burden of this person, be single. So this is like somebody who just wants you to be single. I don't even know if they are going to. They're very, like, jealous and possessive. Like, they want to fight anybody around you. It's fucking weird. Let's ask. I want to ask who this King of Cups is. Is the King of Cups? Who's the King of Cups? I feel like there's a new energy that keeps coming up in your readings. This King of Swords just fell on the floor in the reverse. You could be dealing with a narcissist. Hold on, let me pause it. Okay, what does this King of Wands want? Or no, not the King of Wands. Who is the King of Cups? Because I don't know if the King of Cups is the King of Wands, but there is... Who is the King of Cups? What's their intentions with Saj? Who is the King of Cups spirit that keeps showing up? Who is this King of Cups? I just heard the weirdest shit. <laughs> and I don't know what, if this is the King of Cups who's saying this or if this was the King of Pinnacle. I don't know which one of these. But I heard all is love and war. All is fair in love and war. All is fair in love and war. Huh. So it's like somebody's like saying I'll go to war. Like if everything's... Like, I'll go to war over you. Like, this is weird. Yeah, this is somebody who's coming to talk to you. They're truthful. They're honest. Like, what does King of Cups want with Sagittarius? They want to take a leap of faith towards you. Oh, well, they're he headed to you. This person's waiting on you. This person could live at a distance from you. Oh, you're going to surrender to this person. This is somebody you know that you don't have to have your guard up against. Could be somebody from the past. Scorpio energy. Or maybe they're just in despair. Maybe they're in despair. This person's worried about something. Especially if they're at a distance. 
This is somebody who's having worry, anxiety. They regret something. Oh, they're coming back. They could also, if they live at a distance, want to come see you. Like they want to come to where you're at. This person's in love with you. Yeah, this person's stuck somewhere. Like, this person could be at a distance. For some of I'm not going to bullshit you. For some of y'all, this person's in jail. Like, I don't know if you're dealing with, you have like a loved one in jail or there's somebody here, but that's just for some of you. But this person is thinking about you. They kind of feel stuck where they are. They want things to move in their favor with you. This person's destined to be in your life. And this person doesn't want you single. So they, they don't want you single. You could have had an ending with this person. Or maybe they just went through an ending. This is somebody whose like emotions are all over the place too. They're very emotional right now. They want to offer you new love. Okay, so this person could have had an ending with somebody else. They're kind of emotional, but they're looking at you as like a new love offer. And then we have Cancer Energy, Scorpio Energy. And then the hair font. This person's very spiritual. And then we have the damn Virgo energy. This is somebody who go has is like going within and they realize that you're their empress. This is somebody who knows your worth. Like they could want marriage with you. They want you like long term in their life. Oh, <laughs> this person just went through a heartbreak with this person. They're leaving a queen of pentacles. Like God is separating them from a queen of pentacles and you're the empress to them. This person was indecisive in the past on this queen of pentacles. Like they could have thought that they wanted to be with this queen of pentacles but they chose, they realize they don't, like they're in love with you. Like they're realizing they're in love with you, not this Queen of Pentacles. <clears throat> so they could be going through a fight with this Queen of Pentacles because they're going through like this awakening and they're realizing that they're like in love with you. Whoever this King of Cups is. Yeah. They are finally listening to their intuition. Like in the past, this person did not, they made the wrong choice. They picked the wrong person. They were not being led by their intuition. And so now this person wants to come back, put in work towards you and reconcile with you. So this is a past person. Yeah, they want to leave the past behind. This person could have been like a player in the past. This person, what they did is they were being ran by their passion. Like instead of listening to spirit and listening to God, they were in this knight of wands. Um, but now they're like saying that they no longer want to do that. Like they no longer want to, you know, be giving to somebody just off of like passion. They're, they're more wanting to follow like their spirit. This person wants to settle down and actually marry now and have stability. Like they're more, more focused on like stability and they want to put it into any third party energies. Yeah, they're choosing, they're like choosing not to just be in a sex-based relationship. 
So this Queen of Pentacles could have just been all about like looks and sex and stuff like that. And they're realizing that that's not the way to go. Like they know that they won't ever have like success with that person. <clears throat> this person's going to message and tell you this. You're going to get some type of clarity. This person might not have been honest with you in the past, but now they want to come in and be honest and offer you some type of a commitment. Yeah. This person wants to get away from this third party energy. And here they are. So your little king, I really believe the king of cups is the fucking king of pentacles. This person has realized they picked the wrong person and that the reason they've been watching you and stalking you and so worried about what the fuck you're doing is because they realize they're in love with you. The king of cups is the king of pentacles. They're in love with you. And they're about to leave somebody to come tell you this. Like they're realizing this third party is like a liar and that they picked wrong. You're about to hear all this. This is going to be a shit show. So enjoy that. <laughs> I want to ask what is coming towards Sagittarius this Sunday to next Sunday? I just want to see just a few cards. Like what does Sagittarius need to expect? From tomorrow, Sunday, till next Sunday. Like, what should they be expecting? Because I feel like this is important. I feel like there's something happening this week. Like, something's popping off this week. And I hate to tell this person, but I'm hearing y'all already. You're already saying, I don't give a shit if they picked wrong or not. They're beat. Like, you don't want them back. Like... You guys aren't going to take somebody back who didn't realize who you were from day one. You know, is what I'm hearing. That's just for some of y'all. There you go. Together with somebody. Cancer energy. There you are. Really busy. Okay, so you're going to be very busy. You also could have a decision to make. Capricorn energy. I see you dropping a burden of something. Then we have the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like you're working here trying to get that Ten of Pentacles probably, but. You have a lot of offers coming towards y'all. Especially if you're single. There you guys are alchemizing. <laughs> Spirit's trying to bring you together with a soulmate too, by the way. Because the angel has the Two of Cups and then the Two of Cups was the first card out. Okay, so here comes this King of Pentacles. So, this person's coming this week. They view you as their Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, this, this person's coming in to cut your options off. Like, this person is tired trying to figure out who you're talking to. Yeah, they're returning. So, this person's going to come in like a bat out of hell here this week. This is damn Virgo energy. You could go to church or something with this person. Or this person, it could just be very spiritual. Like, I feel like this person is really going through some type of spiritual awakening. Yeah, like, they're no longer in the dark. Like, this is somebody who used to be in the dark. And they're trying to become the light. You could go meet this person, go eat with this person. This person's feeling stuck wherever they are right now. Like they don't, they, they're, they're showing the five of cups twice. Ten of cups reversed plus the five of cups. This is the five of cups. Somebody is not happy where they're at. Like they're not in a harmonious place. 
Yeah, and they they feel like they like shit's not going. They feel like it's not fair where they're at. There's not like fairness is not happening to this person right now where they're at. Yeah, they kind of just feel stuck. They're trying to heal. This person's also trying to heal from something. Yeah, this person's trying to be strong, though. They're also trying to overcome. They could be trying to overcome something with the strength card. And we have the wheel. I see you also with, like, friends or something this week. Yeah, it's like you're getting out of your head about something. You talking to this person or seeing this person might also help them. Like, it might help them get unstuck. You're moving on to new love, though. Like, somebody new is coming in here with this new love. I just really feel like there's some, like, somebody feels like they're realizing they're in love with you. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. Look at this. Y'all are fixing to not be single no more. I hate to tell you this. <laughs> like, I guess this is good news for some of y'all. Uh, Sagittarius, you have a new love coming in. That, and I don't know if it's with this King of Pentacles or somebody else. I feel like it's somebody else. You're moving on. Okay. And whoever this Emperor energy is. Because y'all are in the Empress energy, or the Emperor energy. You're in the Empress energy, but you have an Emperor coming in, whether male or female. Um, they ain't playing no game. Like, they, this is a protector. This is somebody who will fight for you because they're in love with you, and they don't want you out here single. Like, that's how you know if a man really loves you, too. Like, a man who really loves a woman, or vice versa, they're not going to want that person out there single. They're going to want to lock you in. And you have somebody doing that. Like, there's this new love coming at you really quickly. And, um, like, they want to marry you. And there's something about this person sneaking away from another, from something or, I don't know. But there's like this tower, but it, I don't think it has anything to do with you. See, there's somebody, okay, there, there's this somebody coming in who's very jealous from your past. This is a sneaky individual, and they're in love with you. So you have two different people here. You have a new love who wants to offer you a commitment, and then you have this past person, which I think is this King of Pentacles, King of Cups. They're feeling rejected by you, and they are very jealous of your new love, and you're not talking to them. You're not looking back at the past at them. So they're getting upset. Yeah, you're not wanting to put energy into this anymore. But they're attached to a Queen of Pentacles reverse that they don't want to put energy into either. And they don't see any future with this person. It's almost like you have met a new love. Okay, you're meeting a new love. You could have already met this person. Or if not, they're coming in this week. This is your emperor. This is somebody who wants to marry you. They're not playing any fucking games. And then you have a past person who can sense that you have met somebody new or that you're moving on with somebody you're going to commit with. And so they, if they are already with somebody, they want to ditch that person to come be with you because they can't fathom the thought of losing you. Like whoever they're with is not worth them losing you because they view you as the empress so you got like a new person and a past person and you're gonna have a choice to make and then i feel like there's another fire energy here who also could be a leo who also is manifesting you wants to build with you work with you and there, yeah, look, Leo energy again. This is also somebody who's very jealous. 
Aries. This person could be feeling left out in the cold by you. Could be a Leo. They could want to reconcile with you. Yeah, this person's holding on to you too. You have three different energies holding on to you. This person wants, if they had like conflict with you, they want to make peace with you. And then the Knight of Cups fell. They, they view you as wish fulfillment. And they don't want things to end with you. Yeah, this person still sees you in their future. They're holding, they're looking for you. Yeah, they're, they want to choose you. <clears throat> this person could have also picked somebody like or been talking to somebody at a distance they want to walk away from that because they're realizing they're in love with you so they're coming in to get like your attention but there's somebody from the past like somebody they were talking to like online that they were giving attention to they're going to end that to come to come towards you this person could try to offer you like a commitment yeah they're headed to you so whoever the king of wands is, they're talking to somebody online that they're cutting things off with. You, you're, I would just lock the door, stay in the house. <laughs> Don't answer the phone. Oh. <laughs> oh, I was like, you got a new lover coming in. Who all the whoever these past people are, good luck because I see a new love. Let's see. Okay, this is just to entertain the cross watcher a little bit. What's Sagittarius going to do? And I never do this. If y'all have been watching me for a long time, I never really entertain a cross watcher. <laughs> I never really sit there. Because you'll see readers, they'll tell you what the person coming in is thinking, blah, blah, blah. And then they'll say, okay, well, what's Sagittarius thinking? I don't hardly ever do that. I don't know why. I just, I feel like, I don't know. I just don't. But I'm going to entertain a cross watcher. I feel like you've probably been watching me for a long time and you deserve it okay <laughs> so what is Sagittarius gonna do what's Sagittarius I don't know. what is Sagittarius gonna do um, what's Sagittarius thinking feeling what they what are they gonna do what's Sagittarius gonna do what's Sagittarius gonna do Okay, well, Page of Cups reversed. They're not they're not into any fantasy bullshit offers, okay? If they suspect you're on some bullshit fantasy shit, mm, mm Okay. They want somebody they can create with, build with. It kind of looks like they're wanting to leave their past behind. They're listening. The Sagittarius is really listening to their intuition on this situation they're going within their soul searching okay and who i am tell you whoever the king of pinnacles was they knew that they they sensed and I feel like there was a, a Taurus Virgo Capricorn that's been giving you space and and they even said I said this person said okay you in your little solitude shit that shit's over and they were coming in this week <laughs> so somebody's giving you space but you're listening to your intuition. You could be silent on these people. And then you're in the hermit mode. You're really trying to listen to your soul. Like what is your soul telling you? Yeah, because you want a soulmate, okay? One of these people you really do feel connected to. You want somebody to be with long term. Like you're going to pick the person. Yeah, and you want clarity. So in order for you to connect with anybody, whether past or new, you ain't doing shit until God says this is the one. But you are getting some type of communication and clarity from spirit. Okay, we have the King of Wands. And the King of Cups. Okay, so whoever the King of Wands is for you, that's the person like you're in love with, I'm seeing. Like that's who has your emotions. Oh my god. So you're in love with the King of Wands. Yeah, it's a past person. So you're still, like, you know that this King of Wands really loves you. Like, you guys could have been really good friends before you were together or something. 
but you had a really close connection with this individual and that's who has your heart so you're still in love with this like king of wands of water type energy yeah and it's like but you even though you love this person you're withdrawing your energy from them like you want to return to your past and be with them but you're still like very guarded against this like you're really trying to think about this and you're kind of confused like you don't know if you want to go back to the past or not so right now what you're doing what the sagittarius is going to do they're going to stay in this nine of pentacles energy because the nine of pentacles is a junior empress that's a bad bitch whether male or female this is somebody who has the ten of pentacles alone they don't need anybody i mean nobody this is the type if they need okay because you know how some men are be like oh well surely sagittarius will need the lawn mowed or something fixed around the house or if something goes wrong uh -uh. this bitch whether male or female if they need something done they have the money they can just call somebody and get it done they'll just pay somebody <laughs> so they don't need anybody so my advice to the cross watchers if you're dealing with sagittarius you need to show them that you're really sincere and want to pursue them and be with them because if the sagittarius decides to come out of this hermit high priestess energy just know it's because they love you they're with you purely out of love nothing else they don't need anything from you all they need is your love so they don't need your money all this sagittarius wants is your love unconditional love they don't need you for anything but they want your love like i can see you're still in love with somebody yeah and it's this damn knight of wands so for now Sagittarius is just going to stay single and free until this other person, so one of these people really proves herself and shows that they love them. Yeah, you, you're going to leave the past out in the cold until they can, I don't know if they need to get right, act right, but I just see, I, I also what I'm seeing is you're not putting up with no bullshit. If somebody's coming in and they just want to be like friends with benefits or they want to go in and out of your life. They're there one day, gone the next. They're not being consistent. You're just going to leave them. You don't give a shit. You're like, you will, you love this person, but you will leave them because you need that stability. So I see you leaving people who aren't, yeah. Anybody who's in this devil, knight of wands energy, um, and they're not coming with love, you're going to leave them. Like you're not going to let anybody get you attached to them. Yeah, this is what you want. So you're gonna you're telling these people new and past, if you're not coming with the ten of cups, I will leave you and you're you're just dead to me. Because the ten of cups, I like seeing it actually better than the ten of pentacles, because the ten of cups is two people who were the king and queen of cups. They loved each other unconditionally, and they could literally be poor and homeless out on the streets. But still love each other they don't need anything but love and that's what you're trying to reiterate to these people or this person whether past or new you're like look i'm the empress whether male or female i'm in the knight of pentacles i don't need anything but your love and if you're not coming to give me wish fulfillment and love and give me your emotions and be vulnerable with me so we can build together you're just gonna leave them because you don't want anything else yeah like you or you'll just leave yeah but there's somebody who is very stuck on you who does not want you to leave like they don't want this to end yeah you're gonna go back and forth in your head with this decision until i feel like spirit steps in yeah and you're going to make the right decision in the end, okay? Just know that you will make the right choice in the end. And you will get your Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. But you're going to stand your ground with these people. And you're going to get what you want. You're going to get wish fulfillment here. You're going to win the victory. Because I feel like these people know 
they're going to figure out that you're being honest with them and you're giving them like clarity and you're going to let them know like i am in i want stability i want marriage i want long term i you're not dealing with no bullshit yeah you're just going to stay free and but somebody is going to come in and wife you or husband you up okay look here goes this is actually a spirit guide by the way <laughs> it's one of the spirit guides who's behind this um two of cups temperance energy where they're doing alchemy to bring you together with somebody yeah you're gonna have a brand new passionate beginning you will end up in a committed relationship with one of these people but I think you're going to pick the person who's going to give you the unconditional love. And you're going to refrain from the devil energy. So it's like you want somebody who is there for the right reasons. And if you have to hold back like sex from somebody, um, you're like, you don't care. Like you want that, but you don't care about that. You're like, I'm not just here for that. I'm here for a commitment. And so anybody who's not trying to give you a commitment, I feel like you will move on from them. Because you don't want a friend with benefits. You don't want a side piece. You want um, emotional fulfillment. Yeah, and you'll keep looking until you get it. Like, you already know you have it. So you're a very confident Sagittarius. Like, you know that you already have everything you need you have the love the money like you have you own these ships and they're coming in and you know that destiny is going to bring this in so you'll wait until the right person comes or until one of these people wants to do right by you so that's what you're doing you don't really give a shit what these people are doing unless they're coming to you correct and if you are a cross watcher if this Sagittarius is wanting a commitment, you best give it to them because they're in the Emperor Empress energy. Those are people who run empires. They don't need, they're, they just, they're really stable people and they don't stay on the market. An Emperor and an Empress do not stay single long because it's like putting a turkey out on Thanksgiving Day and there's no turkeys for sale anywhere. <laughs> and you see a turkey and you're like oh shit everybody wants that turkey <laughs> so it's like you you're if you are know that you have a high value Sagittarius and you're just bullshitting around with them you're a fool because this person will not stay on the market for very long they're just not and you will regret it because this there's a soulmate connection with one of these people and that's who you're gonna pick you're going to pick the person who feels like home. Okay. But this Sagittarius will stay in this quiet energy until one of these people proves themselves or gives them commitment. <clears throat> Damn Virgo. Virgo. <laughs> Some of y'all are dealing with a Virgo. Uh, Virgo, Scorpio, Cancer, Sag, Leo, Aries. Virgo, Scorpio, Leo, Sag, Libra, Capricorn, uh, Scorpio, Libra, Sag, Aquarius, Virgo, Cancer, Aquarius. Got a lot of things are going in your favor here. I feel like you have a lot of good karma. I can also tell you if you're a cross watcher and I'm hearing this from spirit. If you've done a Sagittarius wrong and things are not going good in your life, you need to go make peace with that Sagittarius and apologize because you, because this person has some type of a divine energy attached to them being in the Empress, Emperor energy, you collected your own karma because this was some type of an earth angel. This is somebody who's loving, kind, nurturing, takes care of people. And if you did something to them that was wrong, you need to go make it right. Because if you don't, you'll continue racking up this karmic debt. That's just what I'm hearing for a cross watcher. <clears throat> hey, look, that damn 911 is there. <laughs> that 9 is there again. Damn. So we have 197 angel number 7711 
You've probably been seeing the 911, the 111, probably the 1111 too. You're in perfect alignment, Sagittarius. Don't let these people come in and get you out of alignment unless they're trying to be honest with you and vulnerable with you because you are headed to a really great spot. We have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So see, you're in alignment. You're, you're going to be okay regardless of what happens here. But a lot of people are going through tower moments over you because they're looking back at the past, what they did to you. They realize they didn't treat you right. And they're wondering why everything in their life is falling apart. It was nothing that you specifically did. It was just the 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 emperor empress energy this earth angel energy that you carry you're a healer so you were put here on this earth to help others and so when you get done dirty you have this god energy this ancestor energy that steps in and it's just it'll wreak havoc on those people um because they they raw it's like they did god dirty to do you dirty was to do god dirty like, they didn't have to do that to you, is what I'm hearing. You definitely have two people, I feel like, who picked somebody over you. No, there's somebody who thinks you picked somebody over them, but you didn't. You were faithful to this person, I'm hearing, and you love this person. They are under the wrong impression. They listen to the wrong people. They didn't listen to their intuition, and they listen to the wrong voices. They don't realize that you were faithful to them the whole time. I feel like they're going to figure this out, though. Okay, so have a good one, Sag.